Heather Ann McCrossin has been missing for almost nine years. The main suspect in her case, her ex-boyfriend, Andrella Witcher. And even though detectives have searched throughout Columbia and Suwannee counties, her body has still never been found. And Witcher had a reason to make Heather disappear. She was supposed to testify against him on three different cases. She'd made, made police reports twice, so there were criminal charges pending for the domestic violence. And then there were drugs found in the house that she shared with Andrello, and those criminal charges were pending also. So Heather was much more of a threat to Andrello alive than dead. Years later, Heather McCrossin's family still wants to know what happened. I think we would have closure, like if we didn't know where she was at, like if she's not here, we could bring her home. And not a day has gone by that Heather's family doesn't think about her. She was my Heather. <laughs> um, she was a very wonderful daughter, very loving, caring. She brought me dinner every night when I worked at the C store with her and Brandon. She left behind a son who's now 17 years old. He's a wrestler. He come in the seventh in the state champs. Heather would be so proud of him. <laughs> Time may have gone by, but her family is still coping. I wake up thinking about her. I go to sleep thinking about her. You know, I've had dreams about her knocking on my door, you know, saying, Mom, let me in. I wake up and she's not there. It's hard. Heather's family all believe that Andrella Witcher had something to do with her disappearance. He is the number one suspect in my, my opinion and in my mind. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen with down and living with Heather down in Florida. We're not living, but working with her. And you know, there was a few times where I was with him, you know, like driving down the road, going to a gas station. Just the way he acted, the way he talked. Um, I mean, he sold drugs. He had a weapon on him at all times. Um, he's just a very dangerous person to be around of. Detectives say Witcher had a history of violent relationships with other women in his past. In fact, Andrella Witcher has been linked to Camry Mitchell, another woman who went missing in 2012. The 24-year-old got into an argument with Witcher when he broke into the home she shared with her father. Days later, Camry's car was found on the side of the road, but Camry was nowhere to be found. I think Andrella Witcher was the last person seen alive with both of these victims. Both of the victims disappeared on the nights that Andrella was with them, and he threatened both of them. But Andrella Witcher was not charged in Camry Mitchell's disappearance. Instead, in 2012, he was sentenced to five years in prison for burglarizing her home. Witcher was supposed to be released at the end of 2016. But just last month, Andrella Witcher was charged with Heather's murder. He just said one word to us when I, we read the charges to him. He said, how? I think what he was saying is, how could you charge me if you never found her body? Investigators have been piecing together the evidence. We have all of the threats uh, that Andrella made against Heather that all of her family members witnessed. Uh, Heather McCrossin, uh, also the threats against her were also heard by Heather Atkinson, her best friend. And detectives have interviews and reports from Witcher's previous relationships that paint a picture of his dark past. He is literally the poster child for domestic violence. Every girlfriend that he's ever had, he's beat up and or put in the hospital, almost killed or has killed. In our case of Heather McCrossin, he killed her and disposed of her body. And while Andrello is facing a manslaughter charge, Heather McCrossin's family says they just want justice. But I feel that he should receive the death penalty for his behavior and his actions. Yeah, he knew what he did was wrong. Absolutely. Everything what he done was wrong. And if you could talk to him right now and tell him just like what he left, what he did to your family, I mean, what would you say? I hate you. Mm hmm Absolutely. And they'd probably have to hold me back from choking him. On Monday, May 16th, Andrella Witcher waived his appearance in court. His attorney entered a plea deal of not guilty and the request that Witcher be returned to DOC custody. The next court appearance is scheduled for August 15th. Reporting in Columbia County, Alicia Tarancon, CBS4 News.